I just want to kind of give you an overview of investing in private placements, the different types of private yep. placements, uh, what numbers are important to you, depend on where you are. I would really and, like to preview this though and say, say this about numbers, although I hate them. You have to count them. You have to know them to be successful and understand what it is you're doing. Once we really got our arms around all of our numbers and mm -hmm. what we were doing, our business just exploded. Number one. I mean, we, we grew exponentially mm -hmm. from what, once we really, really got our arms around it. The other thing that's really cool about it is now that we really know and understand our numbers, we, and I hate to use the word manipulate. That's not what we're doing. We're not manipulating anything, but we know uh, timing of things that need to be accomplished, the deadlines that need to be met that will really make a difference on how those numbers turn out. Mm -hmm. um, there's so, so much more that you can do once you understand your numbers and how they work, how you can make them even better um, and, and just be a, a better, stronger company for it. Whether yeah. you're a single person or a big company, your numbers are important. Well, the, you know, the, the old adage is 100% true. If you can't measure it, you can't manage it. Mm, well said. Um, and it's 100% true. So once you begin to be able to measure things, you can then manage them. And like you said, you know, it's not manipulating, it's managing. It's knowing, do I sell this tranche of notes mm -hmm. before this level, you know, this level of uh, rehab is allocated out. Right. And what does that do if I do one or the other mm -hmm. in, dif in different sequences mm -hmm. and knowing how those play together allows you to control and say, Hey, I want to, you know, it lets you back into your number. I want to solve for X being X being the return we want to get getting the best you can get. And then, holding that as our constant and then manip or, not, or not manipulating, but Manage. managing everything <laughs> over here to make sure that we still get out to this number. Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. Well, that being said, if you want to go over to the stock market type of forecasting, <clears throat> most companies have to do their business based on each, each quarter, mm -hmm. their earning season, because if you don't post the proper numbers, uh, before, at that quarter, then your stock prices go down. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. The visionaries, however, they have to think five, 10 years in advance. And it's very difficult when you're a publicly traded company to think strategically long term because it's going to affect your stock price short term. Right. And you have uh, investors out there in the public that get really mad on the short term. <laughs> on the short term. Yeah. yeah. And but we I, need to think I, long I know term. I congratulated the owners of, uh, or the, the people with uh, Home Depot, because they are, they are one of the companies that think long term. Yeah. And they just say the heck with it. I'm not worried about the short term stock prices. We're thinking long term. Right. Um, and you have to give them credit for that. So you put that back to our fund in particular, if we're doing things, uh, selling loans, uh, selling uh, properties that we own because the loan went bad, um, and how that is realized within the fund within a quarter, mm -hmm. um, you still should think long term because even though if, if we don't get it done by the end of the quarter and the numbers show a little bit less, it'll be made up in the next quarter. That's right. Mm -hmm. So <clears throat> thinking short term uh, should not really come into play. Right. But at the same time, you don't want to freak people out. Everybody looks at their statement 